Okay, here's another video or an updated one on baffle boxes. Uh, made a little modification on this backgammon learning center just because it was a little loud and uh, added some cloth pieces into each individual baffle thing. So it's a little quieter compared to how it comes from you know when you order it you know it's completely clear uh, there is an updated model by cat gammon or ace point which is this new two-piece uh, but they're not calling it an, well yeah they're calling it an r2 but the baffle material the plastic baffles is Kind of like the one that I sold, the one that, would, that was very bouncy, uh, as opposed to this other two piece from Ace Point Cat Gammon that it has round, sturdier, thicker baffles on it. So, to me, this is the better choice. This, if you drop it, I'm pretty sure these are going to break because they seem very fragile. Um, <clears throat> And then another addition is this wooden. It's a base, or it's a basically it's a Dungeon and Dragons baffle box. Uh, I got this from Etsy uh, for fifty dollars, I think it was. And then the cool thing about it is, it's they are they are they will put any type of logo or you know picture that you want on any side that you want. Um, it does come apart, it's magnetic, but it comes with like, I believe, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, around seven individual pieces. So the only issue with this one is again, the noise, it's a little loud. So I added some felt to it, but I'm most likely I'm going to take it off because, um, first time I used it the dice would get stuck about once every 10 times it would just get stuck so I think the felt slows down the uh, the dice um, but I'll take it apart later just wanted to show you um, another thing that you might consider <clears throat> before you buy a baffle is consider what type of board you have because depending on what kind of board you have the baffles each baffle has like a different type of a base. So as you can see, these are different. So that means, and then these are both flat on the bottom. So what well, that means that depending on the, top, with the board you have, it's gonna sit differently. For example, here, you know, this kind of sticks out and if you place it back here, it kind of, tilts backwards so that might slow down the dice as opposed to this one it sits a little closer to where the uh, field or the uh, yeah the field is and it doesn't tilt so I'll give you I don't know if you guys will I'll show you later uh, during the close-up but as you can see this one sits at an angle further back. This one sits straight and a little closer to the field. So that kind of makes a difference. So that's something you might want to consider when you're purchasing a baffle. What kind of board do you have? That's why I have these different kinds of baffles. One is because, you know, each baffle sits a little differently and I kind of like to use certain baffles or certain boards. So if you can see this one, this one sits almost perfectly flush here with the rails. So this is a good one for this board. And this Etsy board, it's a little more, you know, about a quarter of an inch to the field. Some players don't like that. Um, okay. All right, so I'm gonna review this Etsy one. Uh, one of the negatives is that it's loud. Um, I'll do a 
I'll put the dice in with the little modification that I made and then ones without. See, it's pretty quiet. It has two baffles inside. And that one, if you notice, kind of like hesitated, it kind of like slimed out. So that's a little issue. It wasn't doing that before I put the felt in. So some players, you know, get irritated when the dice don't come out fast or they come out or they get stuck. So, so far it hasn't gotten stuck, but you know, pretty nice baffle. Comes apart into seven different pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And these are the parts where the dice actually make contact. Um, here. So I put some jewelry felt on it. And Yeah, I could see how the dice would get slowed down by this, but you know, it's a, uh, one of the negatives is that it's loud. The other one is like seven pieces, so I tend to just keep it together and just put it in my backpack. Um, but I guess over time, you know, you are able to memorize where all the uh, different parts go, and you know, to make it a easier for you to put together. Um, takes me a little while. Um, so it's pretty sturdy, doesn't come apart. The magnets are pretty strong. I think I messed up that part, but yeah, because this is supposed to be sticking out. But maybe I'll keep, maybe that'll make a difference. Yeah, definitely coming out faster. So huh, I think I just oh, okay, yeah, interesting. So it puts it more of an angle than it was before, steeper angle. Anyhow, um. Solid, pretty much will go with any board. Uh, you get in different types of wood. On Etsy, the one, this one I got, the guy is uh, from uh, Ukraine. And it does take about a month for it to arrive. And I think they recently just switched shippers. It was FedEx before. And now I, I don't think FedEx is shipping from out of Ukraine. So... <clears throat> Okay, now this is the <clears throat> updated R2 model, two-piece. Uh, like I said, I don't really like these thinner plastic baffles. I mean, it's not totally fragile, but if you drop it, I don't think it would, you know, I don't think it could withstand a hit. Um, pretty nice baffle. As you can see, this one kind of tilts, so the dice won't come out as fast. But it's quiet. That's a big plus on it. Yeah. Relatively easy. You know, no jumping out. And as you, if you recall the first video I did um, regarding the uh, baffle boxes from Ace Point and Cat Gammon, this entryway of the uh, baffle was a little more flat so and it would cause the dice to bounce out a lot um, you know no complaints some people like their stuff to fit inside the board uh, I believe these both do oh 
Oh, almost. So, so the person who asked about that question, I guess, depends on your board. I thought that all of them did. Um, I guess this one does not, from what I could see. Nope. Just weird. I thought they all did. Yeah. So this one isn't going to fit inside your board. So sorry about that. I asked about that. This one doesn't. The Backgammon Learning Center one does. This one does. So, it's a little weird. I know that's important to some people. Some people want to put everything inside their board. I don't recommend that just because these are going to move around and tumble around and, you know, um, I don't want that. But this one does fit inside your board. Um, okay, so finishing off the re with this one, another negative is, well, I guess just the loudness and the seven pieces. Positives, uh, it's unique, it's wood construction, very sturdy. You know, this could take definitely a hit and it's not gonna break on you. So this is very sturdy. There's other designs on Etsy. Uh, I was just curious about how big they are, the uh, Dungeons and Dragons, so um, they do work. As long as you pay attention to the base, as long as it has a flat base, you know, you'll be fine. All right, so moving on with this uh, R2, uh, that's the only negative is the, um, it's not as tough or robust, or I don't think this is gonna uh, endure a you know somebody dropping it um and another negative for some people is that it doesn't fit inside so all right moving on <clears throat> two and then of course this is the one i prefer sorry about the r2 model and it's interesting that i could not find this specific model with the round baffles on either side ap and um cat gammon so you see one of these and you want a two piece, go ahead and grab it. And let me see if this one is able to be put inside. Yep, that's strange. That one does go inside. So, really curious as to why <clears throat> this one doesn't. side oh yeah it does hit lower yep so this part right here is making it not close so if that's important to you then don't get this one okay all right so moving on to the backgammon learning center one the clear one this is a two-piece like i said i added cloth to it to each of the baffles so it's quieter so I'll let you hear the difference between. It makes some difference. Um, let's see if you're able to hear it. So this is how it comes unmodified. Okay. And with the modification. So there is a difference, uh, but that's kind of a hassle because the cloth sometimes move around and, you know, I have to uh, mess with it a few times, but, you know, I'll just keep it as is, I guess. Uh, I haven't had any issues with this one. Uh, it's very sturdy. As you can see, the baffles are screwed on. Um, flat surface. So happy with the back gaming line center back um, okay I think that's it as far as baffles so if I were to rank them again give them my ranking um, I would say this one is number one number two would be 
Um, gosh, I guess this R2 model, the one that's with the rounded baffles. Number three would be this Etsy one. Um, I'm gonna have to try it again because I think this might have fixed the problem of the dice getting stuck. Uh, number four would be this one. Okay, and again, just they all have different bases, so they're all gonna fit differently on depending on what kind of board you have. So you might want to keep that in mind. And again, this one fits inside. This one fits inside. This one does. If you break it down to seven pieces, this one does not. Okay, so. I'll do a little close-up of um, what I'm talking about, how baffle sits compared to, you know, how they all sit on the uh, board. So, okay, I'll give you guys a close-up. And by the way, this is a, a, uh, Beechwood FM Gammon board with the removable surface. I uh, highly recommend uh, if you're going with FM to get the ones with the removable surface because they're very stain resistant. Okay. Okay, so here are the close ups of the baffles. Okay, as you can tell, these are different. Okay round versus flat acrylic and the way they sit on the board so if I were to move this one you could see there's a slight difference So if you look at the top, this is at an angle. Okay.